Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. My foot is much better now. I'm getting ready to uh, air fry some chicken wings. So I'm going to show you all how I cut the wings. And I'll be using my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. So I'm going to lower this so y'all can see what I'm doing. Put this over here. I'm using this. So I plugged it in. I'm going to turn it on. Let me look at it first. I'll be using this air fryer basket. It's called Air Crisp in this thing, but it air fries just as well as a real air fryer. And I put foil in here to catch the grease. So I don't have to wash, wash two things. I don't have to wash this. So we'll press the air crisp setting and set it for 22 minutes and start. So right now it's preheating. Okay. I'll be using the but that chicken, chicken breading mix, the seasoned kind. Before I use the hot and spicy. They're both seasoned, but this one is like the regular. So I'm going to open this before I start touching the chicken. I'm going to open this now. I'm going to pour it in my breader shaker bowl. I'll leave the link for this. Right now it's back down to I think $14.95 on Amazon. So now it's the time to buy it. I wouldn't pay over fifteen dollars. Sometimes it goes up to twenty-two dollars, which is crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna use all this. This has a resellable package, and I have a fifteen percent off coupon code, Miss Brazil, all caps. I put it in my description box and it's good until August the 8th. So if you're interested in buying this or either the uh, hot and spicy kind. Okay, so this is good to go. You don't have to add any extra seasoning to this. But I will be seasoning my chicken. I always season the meat. You know the bread is seasoned. That's just me, y'all. So. In the meanwhile, I'm going to cut these wing tips off. That's what I'm going to show y'all what I do. So I have to lower this again. And I have a uh, disgusting looking wing tip. This one here. Chicken smells okay, but if you got stuff like that, don't eat that. All oh, discolored. I'm using these kitchen shears. Let's see if I can cut all that discoloration off. Get you some good kitchen shears. And that's good. Cut that. These wings have already been washed. And they've been in this colander to drain. See this colander? So I don't have to do that much towel drain. I'm going to cut this in another section. So this is what I do. I get it in the joint right there. Watch out for your fingers and just cut. But you need good kitchen shears. And cut it again into a flat and a drumette. Get in that joint, fold it, and then cut. People always ask me where I bought these. One of my honeys blessed me with these. So I didn't buy them. Let 
if you have to struggle too much cutting the wing tip off, then that means you're not in the joint. Same thing with separating the drumette from the flat. Get right in that joint. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. And I'll be back. And my air fryer has already told me that to add the food. I don't know if y'all heard it beep or not. But I'll be back. Okay, I'm through cutting my chicken wings, and they're dry. I'm going to add a couple swigs of yellow mustard. That's just what I do, y'all. Maybe three swigs. The chicken will not taste like mustard. So you don't have to buy um, the most expensive mustard you can find because you're not going to taste it. This adds an extra layer of flavor. Okay, I'm using uh, Old Bay seasoning. This is the same that comes in those little cans. Found this big one on Amazon. Okay, and this has salt in it. I like my wings to be seasoned and the breading to be seasoned. So, of course, I'm adding some black pepper, y'all. Love pepper. Okay, it ain't doing nothing. Okay, there it goes. Y'all can't see it coming out, but it is. It wasn't at first. I was explaining about the yellow mustard. It adds another layer of flavoring. It helps the seasoning stick better. The vinegar in the mustard helps tenderize stuff because I put it on all meats not just chicken for a glove and what else and it has turmeric in it which is good for you so that's why I use yellow mustard and like I said you will not taste it I put it on ribs I put it on fish and it does good things for food put these rubber bands on these little teeth plugs that slip off so now I'm going to smush smush the mustard and the seasoning like that and then I'm going to drop it in the breader shaker bowl in the breading now the company's instructions they tell you to make a wet batter first from their breading add a little water to a little of their dry breading and then you bread it with their breading but I guess this is the equivalent of them telling you to make a wet batter first. I air fry just shut off because I'm taking too long. Turn it back on, y'all. Turn on the aircraft setting. I have to reset it. 22 minutes. It's already preheated. Okay, this is meat is seasoned. And I'm not cooking all this chicken. Okay, well this piece is still white. Look at that. People get a kick out of me saying smush. That's a 
culinary term, y'all. For real, for real. Stop making fun of me. I know I'm country. Okay. I need to come over here with me. We'll throw in some wings. Says air food again. It'll hurt the beat. Don't overcrowd your breader bowl because you want everything coated evenly. Hold the top, hold the lid on there, y'all. And hold this little ledge under here. Shake. Bread it nicely. Of course, you can use a Ziploc bag, you use a brown paper sack. Do what you've been doing if you don't want to invest in a bread or shaker bowl. Okay. I am going to spray this. I don't want no parts of my chicken to stick. When it was brand new. I used to uh, didn't spray it. What do I do now? I'm staggering the drumettes like up, down, up, down. Save space. And always shake off the excess breading. You don't want to have a whole bunch of breading clumped on here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two. I think that's enough. More than enough for me and Walter. They ever wish she was over here today. She was over here yesterday. And I didn't cook. Okay. She got the excess ready. I don't plan on flipping these. That's good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to spray olive oil. This is my Evo oil sprayer in blue. It's pretty. I'm going to spray the wings. Now, people who don't spray their wings, they say that air frying is, you're not supposed to use oil. You better use some oil if you want your food to taste good and look good. You don't want no powdery patches on the chicken. Now, I don't have to spray the other side because chicken skin normally has grease in it. So, work this off. I started to use my hand, but I forgot it's hot. Okay, so this will pick up where it left off, 400 degrees for 22 minutes. Now we'll check it before it's done, but I usually don't have to flip my wings. Now if it was a, was a pie or a leg, yes, I had to flip it. It was a bigger pieces of meat. So. Okay, I'll be back. 
I just want to show y'all that I sanitize everything associated with chicken. Everything I touch with the raw chicken, this is what I use. Purell Food Service Surface Sanitizer. Okay, the sink, the faucet that I touch, everything. The shears, everything. So I ain't spreading salmonella all over the place. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I have 13 more seconds, and my chicken will be done. I didn't flip the wings. I didn't spray them with oil again. Okay. Let me turn it off. Unplug it. You hear the sizzle? Mm -hmm. That's how the underside of the wing looks. I didn't spray it. Nice golden brown. Crispy wings. And I prefer the flat. bunch of flats up in here. Walter used to didn't like the flats until I started raving about them. Now he likes the flats. Okay. This ain't supposed to stick, but that's the way the bottom looks. It looks so good, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'll clean that later and change that foil up under it. Here's my wings. Crispy, golden brown, air fryer wings, breaded with the but that chicken. And that's B-U-T, but, not B-U-T-T, -T, but, it's but that chicken. Okay. And go to www.butthatchicken.com. That's the website. If you decide to buy this, then use my 15% off code, Miss Brazel, all caps. And it's good until August the 8th. 15%. Okay. So I'm going to. Did I get a thumbnail? It's good enough. Perfect air fryer wings. Yeah. Look at that. I guess y'all want to see me taste a piece. Okay, just a minute. Okay, y'all. Here's my air fryer chicken using butter chicken breading. I air fried them at 400 degrees for 22 minutes. Close up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Thumbnail. Okay, that's good. Okay, y'all. I'm sweating. I got to get out of this kitchen. Okay, I'm having issues with my tripod, so I'm holding this. And y'all know I'm not very steady. Okay, I'm going to taste a piece. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This ain't hot or spicy. This is the season. And it's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all hear the crispiness. You hear that? Mm. Good and done. So, well, thank you all for watching. Oh, you need no hot sauce or nothing on this chicken. It's good. Season good. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a greasy thumb up. 
leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel and please check out my description box for information bon appetit bye let me get out of this hot kitchen